Okay guys, this next one is another one from the archive. It's going to be Sonic Underground. Now there's a little bit of a story with this one. And I'm going to condense it down as much as I can. But here we go. Because um, I actually bought this game when it came out. And I remember um, seeing it at, at Toys R Us. And um, I don't know why me and my dad were out. Me and my dad were out doing something. Um... Um, something that day we were doing, and uh, he was like, well, let's just stop in Toys R Us, that's from the neighborhood, so we stopped in there, and I was going back to the electronics section, and I told him to just sit me right there just so I can look, because um, back then I had a, a push chair that, um, that I would take around to places, um, so he, that's what he did, he took me there, he just sat me right there, I was just looking through stuff. I looked down at the bottom row, and there, there was, I don't know why I remember it was the bottom row, but it was the bottom row of games, and I saw Sonic, Sonic Underground, I was like, oh, cool, Sonic Underground, because back then, uh, I used to watch it with my brother, and we liked watching it, uh, it hasn't aged very well, but uh, anyway, we used to watch it, so I really wanted to get it, so I, had, I picked it up, I started to play it, because it was, a, it was one of them games that had to try me sticker on it to where it had the arrows saying you could uh, try the game up before you bought it because it had one of the pool tabs. So I pulled it out and played it a little bit as best I could because the um, the little openings where the buttons were, it wasn't cut open very well it? so you really couldn't reach much of the buttons. I think the only buttons you could really reach were, was the uh, speed up knob and maybe the uh, spin dash but which really that's pretty much what I need in the, maybe the D-pad. I can't remember because I don't remember what the packaging looked like. Um, but I was playing, I was like, oh, this is really cool. And uh, my dad came in, he was like, what did you find it in? I'm like, yeah, I found this. Like, I really want to get it because I, I like the cartoon that it's based on. And the game's pretty cool. I was just playing it because it's one of the games that you tried before you bought it. And he was like, oh, hey, he was like, oh, fine. I guess you can get it since... You really haven't gotten anything in a while. Um, so I got it, took it home, opened it up, coursed through the manual and the package out like an idiot. Because I didn't think, think years later I'd be wanting to like keep them in mint condition. But I mean, whatever, at least I still have it. It works. I'm happy to have my collection still. So I'm, I'm happy it's still my original version of it. I do want to upgrade at some point, but. I'm not really worried about it right now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you did. Um, thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. You guys really help out the channel a lot with getting handle games and stuff and helping me kind of raise funds for this new channel I'm trying to get, which I should get by June, but I'll, I'll explain that later in, a vi in another video. But if you want to be a Patreon supporter, please only do like a dollar a month or whatever you feel comfortable with. It really helps out the channel a lot. Uh, especially with me not being monetized anymore because YouTube basically screwed me over. So it really helps out a lot. Um, so anyway, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Here it is. Uh, peace out. Okay guys, here we go with Sonic Underground. Um, before I start, like I mentioned in the intro... I'm going to show you how to do, do the sound test. You just press the sound button and then you can cycle through the sounds. I don't know why they have this, but it's kind of neat. And to replay them, if you take the speed, the speed knob and just go like that, it replays it. Okay. Anyway. Um. Now I actually bought this game when it was new. I remember, I I actually vividly remember, remember buying this game. Actually, because my dad didn't know what Sonic Underground was, and that was back when uh, my brother and I actually liked watching it. But I don't think the show's aged that well. People might disagree with me, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people say the same thing. But um. 
Yeah, that that kills everything on screen if you get it with people on screen, but no one happened to me on screen right there, so that didn't work out. Um, but this makes you walk faster. It's I thought there was a pause, but yeah, there is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something really quick if I can get it to. Cause you, if you hear that rattling, um, there's a little ball. I don't know if it, it might not be off. Cause it's supposed to move around, but it really doesn't. It's supposed to move. It's not. It's not horrible. It, it usually gets stuck. But there's a little marble ball in there. And it, that's what you hear when you do this. I don't know why they have that. It doesn't really. Doesn't really do anything. Like. It's not like it helps. Like you kind of go faster, I guess. Cause there's there's a time limit, so. I'm probably going to go through one stage because stages take forever. This game's actually pretty long. Well, I've actually beaten it once before. Um, it's a fun game though. I, I like the game better than I like the series actually. I actually, like I said, I remember buying this like new. Like, I was all excited when I saw it. and It was actually one of the games that had... um. I'll go through on the stage. It was one of the games that had a try me thing where it had little cutouts of the buttons that you could actually try in the game before you bought it. So I was actually able to try it a little bit. But I always hate those because like you couldn't really play it that well because the cutouts wouldn't be that big so like you had to like squeeze your hand in there and like press the buttons. But you can see it's really aged like if you look on Sonic, some of the paint is like coming off. That's because I, well, obviously I played it a lot as a kid. Like I said, I've had this since uh, probably, I think it came out in like 2000, 2000 or 2001. So I've had it since it came out, so. I've had it for a while. I want to get a, a new one, like I want to get a sealed one. Cause I, I, I love the packaging of it, I wish I would've uh, kept the packaging like, like I do now. I wish I would've had the foresight to do it, but when you're a kid you don't think about keeping that, that stuff. You just throw it out. Hell, I don't even think I read the manual when I was a kid. Cause it was so simple, like, you just go through the game. Um, as far as it still works good, cause I've had it for so long. Sometimes this button down here like sticks, but it works. Like I said, I'm only gonna go through one stage, like I said, or one or two stages, because these stages take forever. You know what, screw it, I'll see how long I can go. It's been a while since I try to beat this. I'll try doing a video. If I get to the end, I'll have a timestamp where the end is so you guys can see the end of it. I'll try to get to the end of it if I can. It gets pretty hard though. I do remember that much. Ooh, I was thinking that. I was forgetting to. I gotta press it up. Yeah, guitar, baby. I don't, know, I don't know what it is about the show, it just didn't age well. The main thing that bothered me about when I tried to watch it is one, all the songs in it, and two, the fact that um, Sonic's sister was still voiced by Jaleel White. Like, it was obviously him, and I don't understand why they didn't get a girl to do it. It never made sense to me. I mean, I think Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog is way better show, but a lot of people hate that as well. I don't know why. Probably because it was so cheesy, just like the Zelda cartoon, but I liked it.
just like the double dragon cartoon, I still kind of like that. Although the season two was terrible. I don't know why they didn't make a handle game of that. That would be kind of neat. Okay, stage four, I think. God, this screen is so small. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. I did the zoom in on the screen with the software I use. Give me a guitar, it helps. Give me a guitar. Especially later levels, it really helps out. I tried to speed up and my thumb slipped off the guitar. Boom. Boom. <coughs> oh, so you gotta shoot in the direction. Um, guitar again. No, that's not guitar. That's the one that speed up things. There we go. Yeah, that's how you gotta get out of that. You gotta do, use the speed up. No, oh, it hit me. Whoop! Sounds like a monkey or something when you get hit. I don't know why it sounds like that. It's weird. Stop jumping. I'm not saying to jump, stupid. Wait, how did you just gonna hit me? Speed up! Woo! Woo! I got a lot of guitars that round. Did I win? No, I didn't win. Okay. I thought that was the end already, but no, it wasn't. No, I think the boss does the laughing thing. When you get to the last boss, I think. If I remember right. I think that's what it does. How I don't remember. It's been like a year, like two or three years since I beat this. That's what that guy do. I gotta sit down and play with these games more. I've only beat like a handful of games that I have my collection. Boom, yeah, I, I didn't even mean to pick that guitar up. That was a good pick up there, because that really, that, like, annihilated. Yeah, this is definitely the last level, there's a lot of crap going on. Come on, it said go up, Sonic, you freaking turd. Super speed! Speed me out of there, baby! No, I missed the guitar. Ooh, I got that one though. <laughs> that noise reminds me of the old <coughs> Looney Tunes cartridge like a boo at the end of them. Oh my god, come on. Super speed! I don't do it that often because there's no that little ball in there. God, how many levels does this have? Holy crap. I know I'm getting close. I forget how many levels. I think it was like six or seven. I don't remember though. Like I said, it's been a while since I beat the game. You did. There we go. You heard that. You heard that. That means I'm at the boss. Yeah, you like that? Well, he pops out, but I think it, at the end, like, he'll just, like, stay there. That's usually where I die. Because I honestly don't know where Dude, I, I just nailed the crap out of him. That was great. 
just nailed the sky, I not even meaning to. Boo! Whip. I just nailed him again, I didn't mean to. I might actually do it this time, holy sh- Oh, you f- You f- f me. Boom, got you again. I expected it that time. Damn it. <laughs> ah, I got the life level too. Ah, I can't remember how to beat the boss. I'll have to look at the printed out manual. I don't remember how to beat the boss. But at least you guys got to see most of the game. All that happens is once you beat it, I do remember. What happens is when you beat it, they just play the guitar and the drums and whatever. And the keyboard for like... A minute or two, and then it just ends. That's it. Ah, oh, I got to the end. That's so frustrating. Um. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it because I I really like this game. There's a lot of nostalgia for me because I actually remember picking it up when I was a kid. Like I said, um, I vividly remember getting it, taking it home, uh, ripping it up in the package, and just playing it until until I beat it, and then then I didn't touch it for like years. Um, until I found it, I. I found it again, and that's when I started getting in, into heavy collecting. Because I was going to try to get this game, but not, then, then, then I found it in my room, and so I I never uh, tried to pick a new one back up because I didn't need to. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you, subscribe if you like this video. And uh, my link's below in the description for my Facebook, Twitter, uh, um, Twitch, all that good stuff, Discord. And in my Patreon, if you're if you're a Patreon supporter, thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, it's only a dollar a month. It's only after the channel, especially now um, when I'm gonna be getting more uh, stuff like this and uh, more stuff. And honestly, like you guys saw the last video with the chair, it would help with that because um, I want to be able to help my dad kind of pay for it a little bit. But I'm not too worried about it because I already talked to him about it. But it's still be nice to like throw 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 a little bit of um, money his way just to help him pay for it, I guess. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. That was Sonic Underground, or as some people call it, Sonic Dash. I don't know why, but that's what some people call it. But it's really Sonic Underground. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got more coming, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, peace out. Oop.